Drawing inspiration from Hong Kong's local flavors, this bartender invented these two delicious cocktails. Chanel Adams is the beverage concept architect for Double Shot, an all-day drinking and dining concept by Cupping Room, a Hong Kong coffee roaster. Having learned about flavors that are nostalgic to people from Hong Kong through those she's met, she's designed two cocktails that highlight these unique flavors. Yang Yang. One of my first weeks in Hong Kong, I was taken to a Cha Cha Tang by a friend and they recommended that I try a Hong Kong coffee milk tea. So this is a overbrewed Ceylon tea and they add evaporated milk and an already brewed coffee. The Yun Yun is a Hong Kong classic found in Cha Cha Tang's. It's unclear how this fusion came about. Some say it was invented in Dai Pai Dongs, Hong Kong's open-air food stalls, while others say manual laborers working at the dock mix coffee in their tea for an energy boost. So for the past two years, I've been trying to figure out how to express coffee, tea, um, and milk in kind of a balanced way that's interesting for cocktail drinkers. Eventually, I started working with a coffee company and seeing different techniques in coffee. Uh, whether it be like infusions or just different brewing techniques. And I found that it would be a very good idea to do a coffee-infused cream. And then that kind of killed two birds with one stone as far as the cocktail, and a very natural fit for that drink was doing the build of an Irish coffee. The Irish whiskey works very well with Ceylon tea, so that became the base of yin yang. And then on the top was a coffee-infused cream. And you can very much taste all of those flavor profiles layered into a drink. Sour Melon Water This refreshing summertime cocktail combines watermelon and the local sour plum candy. Dried and preserved plums are a popular Chinese snack that people like to slowly suck on. Many people also eat it ahead of a long journey if they're prone to motion sickness. The dried fruit is made by pickling it with sugar, salt, and Chinese licorice before being dried out. The Sour Melon Water is my take on a drink called a Ricky. A Ricky is basically a kind of like high, super sour highball drink uh, from Washington DC, which is my hometown. So drinks that are on the refreshing side tend to have four main components. Um, it's a balance between sour and sweet, and then a balance between alcohol and water. So with this drink, it skews very much to the sour side, but it has to have a bit of sugar just to balance it like in your palate. We have probably a couple hundred years of history of people creating drinks that are balanced and using certain types of ingredients together successfully. So I don't try to reinvent the wheel. I would rather start on a classic cocktail and figure out how to incorporate flavors that work, or I try to use the flavors that I have to match a classic cocktail that would work. Which one of these Hong Kong inspired drinks sound the best to you? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you also check out our Responsible Restaurant series if you're curious about Chanel's other drink, a unique espresso martini made from used coffee grounds. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.